what we're looking at is our warm-up for today is if I have eight boxes and I pay four dollars for those eight boxes and what I'm trying to figure out is we already know that this is a ratio because I'm comparing two different things so I'm writing my ratio two different ways eight boxes for four dollars and then the second way I'm writing it is four dollars for eight boxes and you notice that I already did a division so eight boxes divided by four is two the question is what does the two represent and that is really what we are trying to work on for today is trying to determine exactly what happens when we divide we do get a number but that number means something and since we're dealing with a ratio <clears throat> that number has to represent two things it has to represent boxes and it has to represent money so the first time for the first one eight boxes divided by four dollars I'm gonna actually do it out the long way like it's a proportion so eight boxes four dollars and what we basically are doing is this we're dividing by four the top and the bottom so eight boxes is now two boxes four dollars is now one dollar so what we basically have is this I could leave it as two boxes per one dollar or I could just write it as exactly the way I just said it two boxes for a dollar so what does this two represent this two represents the number of boxes that I can get for a dollar and I can see that when I write it all the way out as a whole proportion alright so now the second one see if you can figure out what the point five is that is the hint that I'm going to give that it would really be 0.5 over 1 so what is 0.5 so it's 0 0.5 dollars for one box and what's another way to write 0 0.5 dollars 50 cents for one box okay so now we've just gone over how to basically name when we do the division how to basically name the number that we get alright we're past the point where we just figure out the division we have to know exactly what the number means we get two different numbers depending upon how we set up the ratio so in the first problem we got two boxes for a dollar and in the second problem is 50 cents for one box it all depends upon what it is that we want to use it for